Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I want to go ahead and essentially um, explain the reasoning why I went mines on my previous character, which actually died and I remade, so it's pretty much back to where it was. But yeah, I want to go ahead and explain the reasoning behind why um, we played mines instead of traps, because typically players know me for favoring traps and pretty much saying mines are shit, fuck you, I'd never play them. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of these opposite responses these days. Anyway though, um, so the way it works essentially is when you play a trapper or a mine character, the, the difference mainly between traps and mines is if you look at the trap cooldown support gem, which we can take a look at, right? If you have a trap support gem, it has an innate cooldown of four seconds, which is really terrible, right? So a four second cooldown on a skill that holds three charges is not enough to efficiently clear any map. So we use things like hasty reconstruction, which is used or located over here for trap cooldown recovery speed. And we get a little more trap cooldown recovery speed to further help that. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, you can use something like a trap cooldown recovery uh, support gem, which is really kind of bad. Uh, you can see it right here because it's an entire support gem. Or you can do like, uh, you can play Saboteur. Uh, Saboteur has the 40% trap cooldown reduction, but now you're kind of locking yourself into an ascendancy just for cooldown reduction, which no other kit, like build actually has to do, uh, which is kind of an odd mechanic, right? So anyway, that being said, uh, if you don't want to play Saboteur and you still want to be able to use Cluster Traps efficiently, which Cluster Traps are basically the traps that um, you throw like a gigantic wad of, I'm going to show you a way to do it, which a lot of people know. It's basically you use Sunblast and you use two cheap construction jewels. Um, so you can see I have one cheap construction right here and I have the other cheap construction right here. So what this does is you have 10% reduced trap duration with 10% reduced trap duration with 80% reduced trap duration. So that's 100% reduced duration, which means your traps essentially go off instantly with the exception of arming speed. Arming speed is basically the trap is down on the floor and then it arms ready to basically go boom, right? So essentially with arming speed, um, your traps would go off about after like half a second of delay or so. It's pretty quick. It's not like it's anything too long. The problem with this is, as you can tell, even though with 100% reduced um, reduced duration, it still takes them eight years to go off. And the question is, is why? Why does it take them eight years to go off? That's because we get skill effect duration. Skill effect duration is one of the most broken things in this entire game. So the reason being is it affects things such as Immortal Call, Vol Discipline, Vol Haste, Vol Clarity, Poison Duration. So it's essentially a huge multiplier to our character's damage. I do believe it also may work for Rallying Cry. So not picking up Potency of Will is like a really big no-no for our character, especially because Potency of Will goes into Shape. Well, Shaper is right next to it for Zealot's Oath, right? And then I get the Life Regen into the Jewel. I know this isn't my RF character. This is my Trapper. They just look similar. Um, and it's going to be a CI character as well. So I pretty much have to get Potency of Will which literally eliminates the whole point of going traps. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this for you guys and show you what it actually looks like if you were not to have um, potency of will. So if we look at our traps duration right now, traps last, uh, you might not be able to see it here, let me just remove this event list. I have to make a YouTube scene, I do apologize for this shit. Uh, it, the traps last 7.2 seconds. Let's just start refunding the nodes out of here. They went from 7.2 seconds to traps last how long? Oh, zero. Okay. So now if I were to throw it, you'll see the arm. See how they kind of like, they look like Teletubbies. They go like, Psh, right? I don't know why I said Teletubbies, but this is what it looks like normally. But that's just simply unethical to play a poison CI character and not get any skill effect duration. So I hope this kind of sort of clears up a little bit of the reasoning why. I kind of don't really like where traps are. Uh, mines are a lot more... Uh, be it they may seem a bit more clunky, you just save so many points on the tree. Like a ridiculous amount of points because you don't need, um, well I mean it's not that you save points, it's just like, it's just quality of life. Even though they like lack quality of life in one aspect, they give you so much quality of life in another aspect. I don't have to sacrifice two jewels, right? Um, because I don't have to sacrifice two cheap constructions, normally I'd also need coded stratnels. 
uh, which means I need four jewels sacrificed for my character uh, because I would not get free poison and I would have to use this. So it just it goes on and on and on with the list of things that I just don't really like. Uh, and this is kind of the reason why I haven't really played traps too much this meta. Um, or even last league or the following leagues is just because I think that they're going to be doing something with traps like an overhaul or some new type of traps or I don't really know exactly what's going to happen but if they want traps to properly be like played in the meta like as an active play style they will need to change a few things because there's just so many gear requirements like like you need to have this to make it work you have to have the trap cooldown recovery and uh, then there's the whole scenario of like um, essentially, monsters have ridiculous haste, so because they move so fast, it's hard to even hit them with a trap. Mines are just simple. You put it on the floor, you press detonate, boom, it's everywhere. Right? It's, it's nice and simple. So, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit with the other character that I'm playing, which is the same exact character pretty much shown in the video from the other day. This is Pock Swim. Um, you will be no, shut up. I don't want to be remembered. Be quiet. Alright, me too. Okay, cool. So he's using Void Manipulation instead of Pierce. Uh, minefield, EK, Remote Mine, Control Destruction, Trap and Mine Damage. Now the only difference between this character, because I didn't want to level the exact same build after a silly death like that, instead of going Pierce, I'm going to go Chain. And I'm just curious to see how it works. So normally I would connect this way like this, I would grab Piercing Shots, and I would use the Pierce Support Gem for a Multiplier. Instead of using the Pierce Support Gem, I'm using Void Manipulation, and I'm using a Roth's Reach instead of a Quill Ring. Um, this gives me 30% proc speed, which isn't bad, and skills chain plus one time. Um, I guess ideally, or not ideally, but you could also swap out like Void Manip for something else. All right, so this character is also not really running any auras yet. Um, you know, we'll change all that stuff later, but it still looks pretty, pretty like okay. Granted, this is a normal dried lake. You know, I have to show you guys the normal dried lake action. And I do not have all of my prod speed yet. Well, actually, I do have majority of my prod speed. But I do not have my, uh, what is it called? I forgot. I forgot what it's called. Feels bad, man. Oh, all my mine laying speed. Mine laying speed is very important. <clears throat> I haven't decided if I like Pierce or Chain better. I think really I'm gonna have to wait to maps to figure it out. I think maps is, are always gonna be like the number one place or even just like Merciless Dried Lake because you actually do have proper density because Chain might fall off when I have like, I don't know, I guess more dense packs. But at the same time, I feel like Chain will also be better with more dense packs because if I'm actually surrounded by monsters, like legitimately surrounded by monsters, um, then um, it could potentially chain like from left to right. But like in that instance there, that was kind of shitty because it didn't even like, it's not killing these, right? Like that, like a, a pierce one would actually kill like all of these. So I don't know, I'm kind of like up and down with what or not, or what I'm going to do with the character. But other, overall, it's still pretty cool. Um, I do have a lot to test out and I might even be able to make it like a boss killer if I potentially swap my weapon to a Dark Scorn, because I won't really need too much prod speed if I'm bossing. And Dark Scorn would give 25% Fizz mitigation, as well as 25% um, of my physical is converted to Chaos, which would scale really well with Void Manipulation, and at Ziri's Promise, um, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you do like this character, I'm not really putting out a build guide yet. Let me play the character to figure it out first. I know a lot of you guys saw like the guides I put out for my Low Life Righteous Fire character. That's because I spent a lot of time on it, and um, I do have to actually spend time on a character before I can just write out a 15-page build guide because it doesn't work like that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it may be like a week or so till something like this comes out. It's just it's just my for fun character, you know. That's all. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can play this build a number of ways. Uh, I would recommend either Occultist or Pathfinder. Uh, Occultist gives sustain. Pathfinder, I believe, is going to be deeps. Uh, but we'll see exactly what happens. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.